You okay? God bless our significant others and our friends because uh, they put up with absences. I mean, we work incredibly hard <laughs> on, on this project. I mean, I didn't know I was capable of working so hard. I mean, we really did work literally seven days a week. Talking to my kids today, and they're like, I, we had no idea what was going on. You were just gone for like a year. Right. Yeah. We had men tell us things they hadn't told their wives yet. We had a, a, a graduate of Boston College High School who said, I finally want to go public. He says, my wife doesn't know. And I remember we said to him, you, you need to tell your wife she can't read this in the newspaper. We became the friends and therapists for a lot of the people we interviewed. It really messed me up. I'm sober now, but that, that was the beginning of it all. What amazes me, looking back on what we were able to accomplish, is that all of the tools that are now so common for reporters, all the online databases, that th there was virtually none of that back then. And, 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 and I remember Matt's got something in his computer. This is 2001. I said, what's that thing there? And he said, it's a spreadsheet. <laughs> I had never seen one. That was a turning point, I think, because we assembled a list of 90 priests. And I remember all of us looking at one another and saying, what? 90? Could there possibly be 90? At that point, we were still thinking there might be six or seven of these guys. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. What made it so sinister is that the priests had the knowledge of which families were vulnerable, which were the broken homes, which didn't have fathers, and they really honed in. They targeted those families. You feel trapped because he has groomed you. How do you say no to God, right? One of the things that brought home how local this was was in the early days of doing background checks on Gagan. Oh, Turns out his house was a two minute walk from my house. So I just walked it and I was like, there's where he lives. And so I took his picture, put it on the refrigerator, told my kids, stay away from this guy if you ever see him.